So in this problem, we're told to consider the following. Then we're told to use six rectangles to find estimates of each type for the area under the given graph of f from x equals 0 to x equals 36. And we're told three different things. We're supposed to find the sample points using uh, left points, the sample points are right endpoints, and when the sample points are midpoints. So let's talk about how we find this. So we're told from x to 36. So our range is going to be 36, right? We're going over 36. and then you see that this is L of 6, R of 6, and M of 6. So we want to find the interval in, in, between, uh, in between each of our endpoints. We can do uh, these two numbers. So 36 minus 0, which is just 36. Then we divide by the number of intervals, which is 6. So 6. So this is going to be the gap, so the length of each of our intervals. And this is 36. Uh, the gap in each of our intervals is going to be 6. So here, here, here. So each of these are going to be our gaps, uh, or like the interval, so one interval. And then so let's just start with the first one. So it says sample points are the left endpoints. So the left endpoint is basically of our interval, we want to take the beginning value. So in this case, this is one of our intervals, right? So we want to take the left-hand side value, so it would be right here. So this is the value we're going to use first. So we're going to use that on each of those. So what we want to do is take uh, the number, like our interval length, so in this case it's going to be 6 times and then we're going to add all of our endpoints up together. So what we want to do is just estimate. So we're going to add all the left endpoints first because that's what the first one's asking us for. So let's take the left endpoints. So what we want to do is estimate this value here and then we're going to estimate this value here and this one. So let's start with this one. So what does this look to be about? To me it looks to be about uh, 27. So 6 times 27 plus this one looks to be about 26, so 27 plus 26, we did the left hand, now let's do the left hand again, so this looks to be about uh, 24, then let's do the next one, uh, next one's going to be right here, so this looks to be about, this is 24, this is going to be 21, so 22, plus the next one, so right here, this looks to be about 18. Then our final one right here looks to be about 12. So it's okay if your estimates are off. Um, as long as you're somewhat close to the real answer, you're going to get it right. So add all these up, multiply it by 6, um, you get 774. So this is going to be our estimate for the area using the left endpoints. So now let's do the next one. Let's do using the right, um, right endpoints. So we use the left one. So the right endpoints are basically where it ends. So if this is one interval, we want to use the side it ends on. So we're going to use this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point. So let's find it. So if we go ahead and do that, let's start with the first one. So this looks to be about uh, 26. So do the same thing. So 6 times 26 plus, now let's find the next one. Uh, actually, let me erase it. So 6 times 26 plus... And let's do this one right here because it's the next right hand. It looks to be about 24. Plus, now this one. This one looks to be about 22. Plus, now let's do this one. This looks to be about 18. Plus, right hand, so this one next, 12. Plus, and then this one right here. Uh, and this one looks to be about 3. So if you multiply all these together, so you add these up, multiply by 6, you should get 630. That's a pretty good estimate for the right-hand endpoints. Now we've done the left, the right, now let's do the midpoint. So we do the same thing, we do 6 times, and then now we're going to just take the middle of it. So we use the left, so like this would be the left of our first one. The right would be this one, and then now we're just going to take the middle values. So just try and estimate the middle value. So this is our first interval, so the middle value looks to be about 26. Plus, and then let's do the middle of this one, which looks to be about 25. Then do the next one right here. This looks to be about a little bit less than 24, so 23. Plus, next one, which looks to be about 19. Then the next one, this one looks to be about. Eh, 15, it's right, right on the line, so plus 15, 
And then our final one is going to be this midpoint, which to me looks to be about 8, so a little bit less. So if you multiply all these, uh, you should get uh, 696. And so these are just going to be estimations, so they're not going to be the exact value, but as long as you chose numbers that are pretty close, uh, you should get it. So now let's look at B. Is L of 6 an underestimate or overestimate of the true area? So the true area is just going to be this whole area. But our estimations aren't going to be perfect. So if we use the left end points and just imagine what we did. We basically just took the height, moved it over, and then we found the area of this rectangle right here. And we did that for all of them for the left end points. So it would look like this. This is if we did the left end points. The true This is basically what the area we calculated. And so if you look at this, we have all this extra area where our um, rectangles are going over. So then that means uh, this right here is going to be an overestimate. So L of 6 is going to be an overestimate. What about R of 6? So R of 6, we took the right-hand end point. So if you look at like this, we did uh, rectangles like this. So we are always taking the right hand, and then we go over. So if you look at this, this one, there's going to be a ton of area right here that we didn't actually calculate. So this one's going to be an underestimate. But what about the last one? So the last one asks us which of the numbers gives the best estimate. So if we look at this, um, if we do the midpoint of all these, so if we choose to do the midpoint, it should look something like this. Just take the mid number of these. Uh, so like right there. That. And so if you look at this one compared to the other ones, it's gonna be a much better estimate because we're only going over a little bit but uh, yeah, so compared to the other ones, this one's going to be a much better estimate. So basically, um, always basically the midpoint is going to be a better estimate if you're than the right and left. So the midpoint is just a better way to estimate. So M of 6 is going to give us the best estimate. And so these are going to be the answers to this problem and how you solve it.